Hello friends, here we are. We're gonna do some drawing again, isn't that nice? It's Wednesday, we're halfway through the week already. And I hope you all had a good weekend. I haven't seen you since Friday. I had a great weekend, I did some reading. I like to read mysteries and I was reading a little bit of a Sherlock Holmes. And it reminds me of a story I heard once about Mr. Holmes. Apparently he walked into a room carrying a handful of lemons and his assistant, Dr. Watson said, Holmes! Where did you get all those lemons? And Holmes replied, a lemon tree, Dr. Watson, a lemon tree. Let that one sink in for a minute. How about we do some drawing? Grab yourself a pencil, a pen, a stick, a marker, a crayon. Doesn't really matter. Anything that you can make a mark with, okay? And we're gonna get down to doing some drawing and it's gonna be a blast because I have something very special planned for you today. And it's going to be using straight lines, some curvy lines, sometimes like this, sometimes like that, some zigzags, right? These are the basic ingredients we always use for our drawings. And it's all you need to make all kinds of things. So shall we get started? Let's see who we have here in the chat. Hello, we have Rudy, Sam, Steve, Miguel, Fiza, and Clever. Is that really your name? What a great le uh, name, Clever. I wish I was named Smarty Pants Webster. Alas, I was stuck with a Kyle. Okay, here we go. Everybody get ready. We're gonna start with a straight line and it goes a little something like this. Straight line. All right, straight across. Now, does it have to be absolutely perfectly straight? No, of course not. It never has to be absolutely perfectly straight. These drawings are designed to look good no matter how you do them, okay? So yours is gonna look a little different from mine and that's totally fine. Next thing we're gonna do, and this is something I've shown you before, which is to give yourself a little bit of a cheat, a little hint. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see me do this. I'm just gonna create a little dot, okay? And I'm gonna aim for that dot. And that dot is about halfway across the length of this line up here, alrighty? Then I'm gonna do a C curve, and I'm gonna start here and end there. I'm gonna go up like this, and I'm just gonna stop her right there. Now on the other side, same deal, okay? I'm gonna start about here, and I'm gonna go up to there. In fact, I might just start up here and curve on down. What's the difference? You can go either way you like. It does not matter. All right, now that is the first step. Now, if you find that you've drawn your bump, like I have, a little bit more to the right, just add a little bit more to your line. See that? No big whoop. All righty, next step. I want you to do this. We're gonna bump down to there. Notice how I didn't start at the very top of this first bump. I start a little bit further down. Same thing on the other side, okay? It's fun to do these symmetrical things, makes it easy. Now I'm gonna take this side and go straight down a little bit, like that. And next, I'm gonna pop it out with a C curve, like so. Bam! Alrighty, everybody with me? Am I going too fast? Am I going too slowly? You let me know. Just checking the chat here. Alrighty. Next little step is this, a little line, boop, just like that. Not all the way back to where that line was, but just a little one, okay? Now another curve, here it comes. Curve in, like so. And then we're gonna go down. See, that line is a little longer than that curve we made, right? And now I'm gonna pop back this away to about maybe there. And that's where we're gonna stop for a moment. All right, let's see what we got. If yours looks similar, you're in good shape. If you need to make some adjustments, go ahead and make some adjustments. Take your time. All right, coming back up here to the top, I'm gonna to make a curve like that. See how I came straight out following that line and then I curved it down, right? Alrighty, next. Straight out, and this one's gonna go a little longer. See, a little longer, not too much. And if it's about the same, eh, it's fine. Do not worry about it. Alrighty, now, next step. Little line right here, pop, just like that. And here comes a fun one. We're going to do a curve followed by a straight line. And it's gonna start, see where this line right here ends? And then we go straight, we have a curve, and it goes straight, so close to where that is, okay? 
that little change in direction. We're gonna go up with a swoop, swoop, and then pop, just a little line like that. And then right about here, I'm just gonna drop a line like so. Now, what do you suppose we are drawing? Can you use your detective skills to figure it out? Do we have enough clues on the page? Hmm. Let's see here. I'll look for some guesses in a minute. Alrighty, now I'm gonna come straight down from the back here, like about that far, and then pause for a moment, right? You can see we're drawing a face here, right? So I came down about as far as where that nose ends, and then I'm gonna give it a little curl, like so. Underneath it, another one, and one more. Boom, boom, boom. All right, now here comes another little C curve, like that. Okay, pretty simple, right? Let's see, Fireman. Ah, Cassidy, you are on the money. Sherlock. This is, in fact, Sherlock Holmes. All right, now, from where we just ended that little curl right there, I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to cross over this area here, the bottom of the jaw. Watch. I'm going to come straight across this way, all the way out like that. Okay, and then I'm going to pop it back this way. Bam, just like that. See how we're doing? This is our trench coat, right? Now I'm gonna pretend that this line I drew for the back of the head is going to follow through these three little curls. Watch, and I'm gonna come straight here and just go bam, and then curl it out like that. All right, there you have the back of the coat. Alrighty. Now, what about the ear? Well, to draw the ear, I'm gonna think about something. I'm gonna go look at where this nose begins and look at where that nose ends. I'm gonna look at that distance. I'm gonna come over here and you see I'm about halfway back for the whole head, maybe a little further, but about halfway back right here. And I'm gonna say, okay, that's the kind of when I wanna start that ear, right out of there. And then right here underneath the nose, I think I wanna end it about right there. Give yourself some little dots. When you give yourself dots, you know what to aim for. And now I'm gonna do a C curve and watch how it goes. It's gonna go bigger up here and then just stop right there. See that? Up and around. Now, what about the inside of the ear? Watch this cool trick. I'm gonna make a sideways V, watch. V, right about there. And then I'm just gonna continue it with a curve that follows inside and stops about there. And there's a simplified cartoony kind of an ear you can draw anytime you like. Now for some hair, one and a two. That's all we need right there. Here comes some cool accent lines, watch this. I'm just gonna draw a little line right there and the little line right there. And look how much personality that adds. Just a couple of little lines right there. Alrighty, now watch this. Coming down here to the bottom of the coat, I'm gonna pop that forward, and I'm gonna draw a little circle there. There's a button. And now we have to draw that magnifying glass with the hand. Now you can stop here if you want. The next bit's a little tricky, but if you wanna keep going, let's go for it, okay? We're gonna come up, stop about there, and then I'm gonna curve around to about there. That's step one. Now, I'm gonna curve down and back, and then give it a big bump like that. Now I'm gonna take that line, I'm gonna keep it going. Here we go, I'm gonna keep it going and stop about there. Then I'm just gonna come down and around and back. Alrighty, here come the fingers. One, two, three, four. Everybody with me? One, two, three, four. And now it's time for that magnifying glass. Now I'm gonna look at where his eye is. I wanna draw it in front of his eye, out about here somewhere. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit of an oval. So here it comes. Oval, like a so. There you go. Okay, and now watch this. I'm going to draw a line that follows one side of the oval. Watch this. I'm going to go around and just kind of follow it and stop right there. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm not going to draw the whole line. Watch. I'm going to start about here and just do that. And that gives the illusion that we have some glass there. Okay, we're seeing through to the other side, but we're not completing it. It's a cool little trick you can do. Now the handle. We come straight down and straight down. And then if you want, you can just pop it out down there 
and there is that magnifying glass. Now you know the cartoon lines trick we do, right? You wanna do some cartoon lines? Look at that. Look how surprised he is. Woohoo! I found something. I wonder what it is. Now we're gonna do just a couple of decorative things, and that's just this. Watch. I'm gonna draw some lines down here and come across them like that. So we get that little pattern on the hat. You can do the same thing if you want on the coat. Just bring some lines down. Give them a good bit of space in between, right? And just cut across. Notice I'm not drawing all the way out to the edges, right? It's kind of a nice thing to do. And hey, you know what? Why not just do a little bit of a line there to say, hey, he's got a shirt and that coat is gonna continue right there. What do you think? There is our detective. Now, here's how you can make this drawing your own. Take your detective and put him in a scene somewhere or have him looking at something specific. Maybe put a scary background in the back, you know, like a light bulb hanging down. Maybe there's an open window. Um, he's snooping around outside a cemetery. Who knows, okay? But you can just place this uh, Detective Sherlock Holmes anywhere you like. Alrighty. And that is the You Draw It portion of our show. I hope you enjoyed that. Fun for me. I was inspired, of course, by my weekend reading. And it's time for an animal and activity. Now, this is when I ask you, please, to think of any animal that you like and an activity or a thing, an object. Um, the, act, the animal could be a cat. The animal could be an elephant. The animal could be an alligator or an ostrich or a robin. It doesn't matter. And the activity could be whatever you think is fun. It could be something very unexpected and very unusual. You just say, for example, we had last week, dog playing piano, right? Or lizard DJing. We've had that one in the past. That was a fun one. We had a giraffe dancing, and we've had all kinds of fun things like that. So whatever your suggestion is, I'm going to look in the chat. I'm going to read through the suggestions, and then as quickly as I can, I'm going to try and knock out a really cool drawing. And then after that, I have this cool little thing I want to show you called GeoPeeps, or GeoPeople, which is a fun little thing you can do to draw some quick characters using simple shapes. All right. So let's see, we have a weasel playing drums. Holy cow, that's cool. A weasel playing drums. Camel dancing. I love that, a camel dancing. Hmm, camel, camel, camel. I'm trying to think what the camel's face looks like. I could draw that, I think. A chameleon on a swing. That's cool, a chameleon on a swing. Chameleon, what does her face look like? I'm imagining it right now. Chameleon, chameleon, chameleon. All righty, a lion playing the accordion. A raccoon catching a butterfly. A sea lion drawing a cat an art sea lion. Fascinating. Penguins, penguining. Penguining is a new verb for me. I'm going to have to look that one up. Uh, crab riding a seahorse. A hedgehog playing Sega. Hey, I get the Sonic reference. I'm not that old. Dinosaur, dinosaur eating. Dinosaur eating an apple. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Gosh, you know what? All of these are good. I'm in big trouble here because i got to pick something. All right, let's look these over again. Let's see. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Da, da 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 Weasel playing drums, camel dancing, chameleon on a swing, crab riding a seahorse. I love it, I love it. Porcupine making pancakes. <laughs> hmm. That could be really fun. Hey, hang on to that one for, for another episode. I like that a lot. Um, all right, well, I think I'm going to go for, let's see here. I'm going to go for the lion playing the accordion. So Cassidy, that is coming from Cassidy Cron. And that's what I'm going to go for. Um, remember, I do these three times a week, so please, come on. Keep bringing these suggestions. I pick something different every time, and it's so fun. Now, as usual, I start with a sketch, and I use a very light color to do that. All right, so here we go. A lion playing the accordion. All righty. So let's see. I want this to be about maybe this big. And I want our lion's head be up here and I want him to be maybe maybe sort of singing that could be kind of funny make him maybe with his mouth open la singing lion that could be kind of funny there's that big mane coming around Gonna have those lion ears. There we go. 
There's that nose. Some hair on top. And I have to give him, of course, some, some big lion teeth. There we go. And some big ones down here. A lion singing, and I'm gonna have him playing the accordion. So, we're gonna have this jacket here. He's gonna be wearing like a, a nice jacket. I just think that's funnier. Now, I've seen accordions. <laughs> I'm not like an expert on how they look, but I've seen them and I know there's a bunch of keys on one side and buttons on the other. Um, anybody who's like an expert on accordions, let me know if I'm totally messing this up. Okay, folks, there we go. And the other side of the accordion coming out back here. And there's that other side. Now his other arm is gonna be behind there, right? So we're not gonna see all of it. And I'm gonna have him seated. I have that tail coming out like so. Maybe put a little stool underneath him. I gotta shrink this down because I'm getting getting a little bit uh, out of my, my paper zone here. There we go. Alrighty. And there's the other leg coming out this way. Maybe he's gonna have the other leg kind of kicking up, like he's just having such a good time, right? There we go. I like that, I like that. All right, now this foot down here. Ba -ba -ba -bum. And there's our lion playing the accordion. All right, so that kind of looks like an accordion, I guess, right? We'll get the gist of it, hopefully. <laughs> All right. I think that is going to have to do for now. All right, now it's time for me to put some lines on top of all this, right? And so, in order to do that, I'm going to use a darker color. Make sure these eyes are located about in the spot where I really want them to be. That's important. Get that nose a little bit clearer for myself so that when I am going to draw those other lines, I can really see what I'm doing. There's one ear there, another ear there. I tell you folks, trying to bust these out in just a few minutes, woof! What a challenge. Challenge, by the way, is um, oh, another word in another language. Okay, there. Perspective, Kyle. Remember your rules of perspective. Woohoo! Ready? All right, let's knock it down. Are you ready? Boom, boom, knock it down. Ooh, it's nice and faint. I like that. And now we're going to use that darker color. And we're going to draw on top of it. And a one, and a two, and a there we go. And there comes a big fat nose for a happy lion. And oh, back we go. And there's one cute little eye and another cute little eye. He's having such a good time. And we're gonna do this. Come on down. And that. Come on down. Boop, 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 boop. And then we're gonna have to open that mouth. Get him singing, right? So here we go. Wide open. Here comes that one tooth. Boom, boom. And the other tooth down there. And these little guys, you know, just there for for decoration. That's also a foreign language, folks. I speak lots of languages, lots and lots, in my mind. Okay, now. It's just like magic. How about the hair on the top? Flip it up. Funny, funny. That's cool. I like that. Get that ear there. Get the other ear here on this side. And here comes that long flowing mane. 
Oh, this lion. He's having a good old time. By the way, in the chat, throw out some good jokes about lions. Keep them clean, folks. Keep them clean. But you know I'm always on the hunt for new material. We come out this way. We round it out. Here comes that thumb. Strap. I've seen accordions enough times to know they've got these straps on them so that people can keep them from falling down, right? And around this way we go. Still thinking about the folds and the fabric, right? Can't be lazy and not remember that kind of stuff. Or at least I can't. I'm holding myself to quite a standard here, folks. Get a drawing done in like five minutes and still think about drapery. Why do I do this to myself? And here comes a one shoe and the other. We're gonna kick this leg out. And there is another shoe. Look how it helps to have that sketch. Boy, if I didn't have that sketch, I'd be in big trouble, wouldn't I? Huge trouble. Now the accordion, we're gonna do this side. It's kind of like a box with rounded edges, if I remember correctly. Got some buttons here for this lion to push. He's been playing for many years, so he knows what he's doing. Now that part gets cut there, and we come around this way. And now it's the other side of the accordion. And there we go. And now we're going to finish it off with this side right here. Bam! The other arm is tucked back there. We've got a little lapel for the jacket. Tail comes out. And there is that stool. Oh my goodness, folks, I think we did it. Under the wire, we just made it through. Well done. All right, now I wanna show you this cool little game. I call this Geo Peeps, or Geo People, okay? Let's zoom out and see how we did. All right, we'll hide that sketch, ta-da! Okay, happy, happy, happy. Let's take that lion, we'll just move him over this way. I want to show you something fun. If you got a marker, okay, and I'm sure you guys have access to crayons or markers, what you do is get yourself a color and you just draw three shapes, triangle, right? A triangle, a square, um, or a circle. And you stack them like this. I'm gonna put a triangle this time and a circle on top. There we go. And finally, another triangle. So there's my stack of three shapes. All right, and then what you do is you grab a pen, right? And you draw on top of it and you make geo people, so watch. Do a little hat right there, do some eyes. Say hello. I am a geo person. And maybe this geo person is holding a little suitcase or something, okay? So there's one geo person. So I grab my marker and let's take another color here. And maybe this time I will do a triangle, right? You have to use pretty light colors so you can draw on top of them with the pen. There's my triangle. And I think now I'll do a big rectangle like this. There we go. And underneath it all, I will do a circle. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my pen and I think I'll do this. I'll go like that. There's some hair, do a V and a V and I'm gonna do this. This is a weightlifter. Oh. Look at that, a completely different geo person. Three shapes stacked on top of one another. I think you're getting the idea, right gang? And that's something that's really fun to do. I mean, I, I love playing this, especially if you do them really small. You can do a whole little town of geo people all doing something different and um, you can have fun with that. So we've done it again. We've spent 25 minutes drawing together. We had a great suggestion for an animal activity. You all drew some Sherlock Holmes, which is really fun. And I hope you had a good time like I did. I'll be back again tomorrow and Friday 
same time, same place. So get those pens and get ready and we'll do some more drawing together. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and doing um, all the good things you got to do to, well, to just manage in these times, right? So I'm thinking about you and everybody be safe, be good, and I'll see you next time. Take care.